Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. In a recent video on my great backyard cleanup, and I think it was part 10, we found these. Now they're early fencing pliers or wire cutters, and I mentioned in that video that I had a suspicion they were actually possibly military ones. I've seen this style before with uh, Department of Defense markings. And one of my subscribers, I think it was Lost Digger, apologies if that's not right, but he said, please can we do an electrolysis cleanup on these wire cutters and I did suggest at the time that they might make a good little project so I'm going to do it and thanks for your um, encouragement there uh, and I would encourage anyone to comment on any of my videos if they see something they'd like me to do I don't always get a chance to follow up and I'm always saying in my videos that'll be a good restoration project we'll do something with this one I'll do a worm test on this and I'm saying so many I will do's that sometimes the ideas get lost. So if you want to see something, remind me. You know the old saying, the noisy wheel gets the oil. So for Lost Digger, let's try and clean these up. Now my first problem is my electrolysis bath is under there. I clearly haven't used it for a while. So I'm going to have to clean this little porch area off and get it back into operation. Now, before we get to cleaning out the electrolysis tank, uh, Lost Digger also asked about the wire strainers. Now, I'm not going to clean these up with electrolysis for a couple of reasons. Um, I mean, I'm sure they would clean up if you had the time and, and were prepared to put in the effort. They are missing a triangle file that's supposed to go in there. But the main reason I'm not cleaning them up is that they're not that rare and valuable and I do need to take my time into account when I'm fixing up stuff for the shop. The other problem is that there's a lot of linkages and parts that are supposed to swivel. Now to clean them up in an electrolysis tank can be a bit awkward because you need to get an electrical connection between each piece of metal and if they swivel sometimes you'd have to run separate wires or to do each piece on its own and it represents a fair bit of work. There's no doubt that it could be done, but I'm just basically going to pick my battles and I'm just going to clean that one up with a little bit of hot soapy water and a steel wool and just, just make it presentable. I'm not going to have it even, I probably won't even free it up where it's seized and I'll put it in the shop cheap and someone else might like to do a project on it. But these wire cutters should clean up quite nicely, even though they do pivot and I might actually need to put a couple of connections. Um, I think they're well worth the effort and I'm really curious to see if there's any makers marks on them or any Department of Defense marks. So This is the one we're going to do That one I'll just give a scrub up and put it in the shop. So now this is the View of my porch from the other side and underneath all that is my electrolysis tank So I need to start moving some stuff and uh, We we'll probably have to put some fresh water and make up another solution and uh, once I've got all that ready, I'll show you what, how I'm going to hook it up. There is a video on how to set up your own electrolysis tank, and I did it quite a long time ago. Uh, I might redo it at some stage because I think I've got a bit better at videos over the years. And uh, like all of us, we, uh, you know, sometimes we cringe at our earlier efforts, but it's all about learning and, you know, getting experience. So I'm going to make a bit of room here, and we will might get that bin out it's an old um council wheelie bin and i might tip the remaining water out of it and put some fresh stuff in make up another solution and i'll show you when i'm hooking up the pliers it's a few days later and it's a bit windy today so apologies if it makes a bit of uh, wind noise the tank has been cleaned off i've moved all the junk from around it i have wheeled this out and tipped the old water out not that there was a lot left there was a fair bit of evaporation i've refilled it with fresh water straight out of the tap and I've had to duck down to the supermarket to get some more. This is sodium carbonate. It's marketed as, as electric soda or soda crystals. It's the same stuff as you put in a bath if you want to soak when you've got aching muscles. So I've put about 100 or probably about 200 grams of the, the um, sodium carbonate into the water. I've stirred it all up. It's dissolved. We have our battery charger ready to go up here. So we're ready to hang the pliers in. now. Again, I've done a video on how to set up your electrolysis tank a while back and I'll put the link at the top again now or if I did before, I don't think I can do it twice in one video, but I'll perhaps put it underneath. All I've done with these wire cutters is I've just cleaned the handles back a little bit with some steel wool. 
uh, just to make sure we can have a good connection through the rust and my um, positive terminal of the battery charger goes to this sacrificial piece of metal I'm just using normal iron this is actually an old um, a chaff cutter blade which I grabbed out of the scrap bins so we'll get a good connection hopefully on that as well I filed the corner there and that will be the sacrificial one the negative from the battery charger will go to this and we'll hang that in solution now we'll make sure it's bubbling away and we'll leave it for a few days okay our ele electrolysis cleaning has been going for about three days we've got a bit of rusty sludge building up on there which is normal uh, it's been bubbling away but I'm not sure if all of the uh, wire cutters have been um, been being cleaned I can certainly see bubbles on that side where the terminal goes not as many this side so we'll pull it out and give it a bit of a scrub up and we might have to put the clip on another section and give it a bit more time okay here we go they normally look quite black in fact you can usually tell ah oh, there's a good example you can usually tell what parts have been cleaning and what parts haven't by the fact that some parts have gone black so there you go that's a really good example of it hasn't cleaned the front two sections at all because there isn't obviously a good electrical connection through those rivets. We'll clean the handles up though now and then we'll resubmerge it with uh, the clip on the front section and we'll give it another few days. Okay, I'm inside now in the back of the shop. We'll give these a bit of a scrub up. I'm risking the chance of my phone here toppling into the sink so hopefully you guys don't disappear underwater. I'll just give this a little bit of a scrub. I'm just using some stainless steel uh, a scourer and I use this just for cleaning up tools to put in the shop even without the electrolysis it just takes all the loose stuff off and as far as with the electrolysis goes it actually brings the metal back to um, not super shiny but just a really nice black patina and if there is any writing or embossing you can see how that's come up quite nice there if there is any embossing or marks, it'll be pretty soon evident. Uh, it looks like it didn't quite clean that side either. So I'm going to have to re-dip this in the electrolysis tank. You do have to be careful cleaning up things uh, like quite black. Uh, it's some sort of oxide that's coming off and you wouldn't want to do it in your, your kitchen sink at home or you might get yourselves into trouble. So I'll give us a bit more of a clean and then we'll put it back in the tank. It's been another few days, uh, so let's check how the wire cutter's going. Do you think it's ready for a check, Coco? Yep. All right, let's go for it. So I think it's been about three days again, and it has been bubbling nicely, and it looks like the front part of the wire, wire cutters are now nice and black, so I think that's been working well. There's a bit of sludge on that second part of the handle, but... I reckon that should be fine. Let's take it to the sink and give it a scrub up. And here are the wire cutters, all scrubbed up, looking pretty good. Disappointingly, I could not find any marks, which actually surprised me because I fully expected to see the Broad Arrow Department of Defence. I had a look online and there was a few that actually were branded Sunshine 1943 with the Department of Defence Broad Arrow. Um, so they are military style folding wire cutters. So they're not actually pliers at all. The difference between some I saw online and these is that mine have the side cutter notches, whereas I didn't see any army ones that did have. But look, it's still value added. It's um, it's actually made them quite a bit sloppy in the rivets because it's cleaned out all the muck. So the electrolysis is really good for that. Uh, and I could easily just these rivets over with a hammer and just tighten them up a little bit maybe lube them a little bit and they'll work really well but it's got a great patina on the metal it's removed all the rust and uh, that's made them very saleable from probably a five dollar item to i reckon twenty dollars without any problems now i could probably even go 25 the military ones seem to make at least 50 so it's certainly worth the effort to clean up um so yeah, and as you saw, it's um, there's just a little bit of scrubbing involved. The electrolysis bath does most of the work. You just basically leave them bubbling away. So that's pretty good. I hope you enjoyed that Lost Digger and everyone else. There's only one thing left to do with these now. Since I don't have a barbed wire barricade to cut my way out of, I've got the next best thing, a wire coat hanger. So I expect because of the wear, the actual main cutters probably won't work because there's just too much, too much gap there. Yeah, it's just going to 
kink sideways but we should be able to cut our way to freedom from these side notches we'll see how we go there we go we're out we're free the great escape all right thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed that uh, it is really easy to clean up tools with electrolysis and i reckon it gives it a great patina all that needs is a bit of perhaps some paste wax or wd-40 or something just to stop it re-rusting and you've got a lovely old patina and it's fitting for an old tool and even though this isn't actually world war ii era or at least world war ii uh, army issue it is that era so they're a nice old set of wire cutters all right thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video